Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Beholder 2. In the previous episode we spoke to George Hemnitz, started getting used to the job in the ministry, and he told us that he had a letter and a biometric safe from our father, who apparently was thrown out of a window to his death. And we were on our way home. Let's get into it. Let's go! Good to see you, Evan. Do you remember me? Uh, no. I don't remember you. I'm an old friend of your father's, Evan. He and I were friends, and we worked side by side for many years, and I visit your home often. Do you not remember? Ah, it's James! James Cunningham! Ah, ah, in which case you should have a real gripping voice. Your mother used to make fantastic rhubarb pies. She passed away a long time ago. I know. I went to her funeral. And to your father's. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't get a chance to say my goodbyes. I'm afraid your father's death is a complicated matter. And someone at the top wanted to sweep it under the rug as quickly as possible. That's why I came to you. We need to talk about your work. How's your first day going? Everything's moving quickly. Uh, just a week ago, I was planning to visit my father and introduce him to my family. In the end, I didn't even get to do that. I understand, Ev. Did you two uh, patch things up? No, we never got the chance. Oh, I'm sorry. If I've known that things were that bad, I would have arranged your transfer much sooner. So you're the one who assigned me to the ministry. I am indeed. And by now, you might have guessed that it wasn't down to your good looks and winning smile. Did you come here alone? Where is your family? Everything's okay. They're with uh, Miriam's parents in Reading at the moment. Reading? Uh, that's hardly anything there apart from a coal mine and then some pretty unpleasant minor types. Hmm. <clears throat> They like those holes, deep holes. Oh, not the best type, uh, best place for a woman and her child. I realize that. I've got the new apartment ready for them as soon as possible. Okay, I'm ready to answer your questions. Father's death. James, do you know anything about my father's death? Not much. The floor buses were involved in some way. That's all I know. And I can't conduct a full investigation. Why not? Investigations are what you and your division do. Evan, the only insight I had in the ministry was your father. Clearly, he discovered something very important and got taken out for it. All the evidence disappears if we just walk in the front door, meaning that my investigation in the ministry and your investigation in your father's death are one and the same. If you are so good, why can't you do anything? Hmm? Fine, I'll help. I want to help you. Happy to hear it. Find some dirt on those bastards in the ministry and find out who's responsible for your father's death and make sure they get the punishment they deserve. Where should I begin? I'm the detective. Your main task is to listen to what people say, make note of everything and ask the right questions. Learn about the job and about your colleagues. It's not a as though you have anywhere else to be, so become one of the team and find out what they're all interested in. Everyone's watching TV shows these days, so you should start watching them too. You and your new friends need something to talk about. Can't we talk about the weather? I mean... <sighs> Fine. By the way, I left a book in your bookcase. There's some general information about terminal interfaces in there, as well as descriptions of several ways to hack... Uh, Crack! <laughs> Simple passwords. 
You can find lots of useful information in your colleagues' terminals. I'll take some time to read it all, but it will pay off. Mm, talk about Hamlet. George! George! Today, today, but sorry, get it confused. Today I met one of my colleagues, George Hemnitz. He told me a lot about my father. Apparently they were close friends. I know the name. Yes, they worked together. Did Hemnitz tell you anything important? Well, we'll find out who we can trust. We'll tell him about the project. Because if uh, he's a baddie and he, uh, George gets spunked off, I'll know why and who's to blame. Hmm. But I won't tell him about the loud. Heimdall Project, yeah. He said that he and my father worked on a project called Heimdall. Project, uh, Department 6. Project 6? Yeah. I know about Department 6, but I, I never heard of that far. project. He only mentioned it in passing. He promised to tell me about the details somewhere quiet tomorrow. Keep your eyes and ears open. Tell me everything you find out. Hmm. Mm. That's about the Ministry. Why am I working here? Why did you move me? Well, you see, I need a man to save the Ministry. But why? If you can arrange a transfer like mine so easily, then surely you must have plenty of insiders there already. I assume my father was one of them. First of all, getting you this job wasn't easy at all. Second, I need a man I can trust. What for? I'm the head of the department that monitors the authorities. The IID. Right. The Internal Investigations Division. Exactly right. My main goal is to find out which of our top officials truly serve the people. Which ones bring shame upon the name of the great leader. Mmm. Mmm. Foreboding? Yet to be seen. That kind of information can be obtained with only the help of an insider. That's why I need you. Slowly but surely, you're going to climb your way up the career ladder from the very bottom and shine a light into every one of the ministry's dark corners. Where my apartment? Tell me about the apartment. It's a typical mid-level ministerial apartment. I saw it out for you. But that's for me! It's perceived while the investigation's ongoing, you know even. I wouldn't get my house up. And the apartment we lived in back when my mother was still alive? I'm afraid some new tenants have already moved in. I'm sorry. Vultures! Lovely! Do I own this apartment? No, even. You can live in it for as long as you work for the ministry. You still have to pay the bills, otherwise, you'll be sleeping on the street. As an undercover agent for the IID, you're going to have to play by the rules to avoid unwanted attention. I'll pay your bills today, but from tomorrow, you have to take care of them yourself. The Ministry of Housing is extremely strict, as you know. Even a minor debt will get you arrested. One has to show due respect for labor, communal property, and all that stuff. <laughs> hmm. Yes, communal. Hmm. Plus, there are 603 people waiting in line for this apartment. I checked. Back. End conversation. Thank you very much, James. Uh, ta ta. Goodbye, ah, Jimmy boy. Goodbye. Mm. Get the skill. Wait, we got a book uh, uh, before from uh, Morris, didn't we? We should check that out as well. How to save state property. New skill picking crowbar lock, crossbar locks. Mm. Morris! What do you get up to in your pastime, eh? What can I? How do I? How do I? How do I use? Okay, I guess we'll we'll uh, we'll learn by getting this one. Hmm. Let's check. Working with. Ah. Okay. Well, read. 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 Read, read, read. Already read. Already read. 
I prefer green, but fair enough. I'll take red. I now have uh, skills. Does it have any pictures? Heck, any terminal. Mm. I guess we watch TV. Oh God. The walking boy and TV show. Target audience. Active young people. Ministry employees. Uh, I guess we'll watch this. And uh, when we get more money, uh, we'll we'll get some episodes. We'll get some more to talk about, I guess. But for now, I guess that's good enough. Desk. What do we do with desk? Ah, this is where you pay your bills. Lovely. It's where your ledger is. Yeah, allegedly. Okay, I guess. Uh, Is there any terminals here where you can? I guess not. Let's go sleep! Hmm, right, so this uh, James character, this Jimmy boy, who is uh, now my overseer, I am now uh, a spy for the IID on the ministry. These people got secret telescope. Oh, street telescope. Wait, it wouldn't be secret, would it, if it's right there? What a donut. Mm. Didn't take long for them to clean up the the remnants of. Papa! <laughs> Papa! Ah, where's George? George, you better be at work. Hello? Hello? Good morning. Phil! How you doing, Phil? Don't you ignore me, Phil! Fine. Going to work. Any, uh, any, any idiots today trying to, trying to break in? Assessing in on this conversation. I forgot the access code to my terminal. What am I to do now? Not a clue. Maybe, uh, someone else will remember it. Good luck. <laughs> someone else will remember it. <laughs> if you go around telling your passwords to people then uh, you're not very secure are you let's be honest Ooh, what's going on here hello everyone thank you thank you thank you is this for me oh, apparently not what's going on Oh, dear compatriots and friends! <gasps> oh, it's the worst leader! <laughs> oh. oh, we have all gathered here today, hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder, for a very special occasion! Oh, that face. <laughs> we are here to reward someone, is it me? Is it me? Please be me. Please be me. Our country is big, unique, and beautiful. We are united by our common concerns and common pleasures. Like the juicy bun lady. <laughs> I'll see her soon. We are also united by our long-standing tradition of rewarding the worthy among us and wishing them the very best. And today, that worthy individual is your colleague, Comrade Hemnitz George! Ah, it is vitally important that we believe in ourselves, in our own strength, 
in our own country. We work, and in doing so, we achieve many great things. I would like to sincerely thank you, dear friends, for all your victories and achievements, your understanding and trust, and your genuine heartfelt concern for our great state. Today, every one of us can become a little better. To achieve this, all we need to do is treat our parents with love and gratitude, give our children and family the attention and care they deserve, respect our colleagues, cherish our friends, defend truth and justice, be merciful, and help those in need of support. It's Batman! It's Batman! I know it. It's Batman! But most importantly, we must never betray the cause of our great nation. After all, each of us is rewarded according to their deeds. And how our great state, peace and prosperity to our great motherland. I wish you happiness, health and prosperity. Raw! Okay. And this was uh, ha hanged right in front of me. Uh, I have to ask someone what's going on here. Magda Rakovic. Uh, Rakovic is bound to know something. Mm. Wait. Wait, what? It... Uh, wait, what? Uh, I was too preoccupied being um, vampire to um, uh, uh, the wise leader, George. George. Oh, George. <sighs> I should have said nothing. All right. Back to. Don't touch the vending machine. Bun lady! Now I have twins. Bun lady! Serena! Serena! Oh, hello, honey bun. Cabbage pie is the best cure for sadness. Uh, general chit chat. That's you. What do you want to know? Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you know what the temperature? Do you know the temperature today? Do I look like a thermometer? What do you want to know? Talk about the trading in the ministry. How do you make your past security? The ministry is restricted to this area. What do you think people eat in restricted areas? Eh? They used to have a whole canteen on this floor. Do go on. When it was shut down to cut costs, folks started dying of starvation right at their own black person. Right at their own black Right at their workplaces. So the bosses had to okay oh, set the food it. here. And nobody stops you? I love you to see them try. Wow, so no, you're no, quite no. a big shot. Please, I started out as a janitor here. You know how it goes though, nobody pays attention to the hired help. I've no, seen and heard a lot. Mmm, do tell. <laughs> juicy bun lady with your juicy gossip. <laughs> Once the canteen got shut down, I put two and two together Money and went straight to the boss. We agreed on the amount fairly quick. The security chief, though, Money became a problem. So I had to remind him of what happened on a day of order a couple of years ago. And he came to his senses pretty sharpish. Ever since security just smiled and waved at me. What happened? Yeah, right. 
Want to start smug smuggling pies too? Oh, and take my job again. away? What do you want to know? Mm -hmm. family here. Do you have any kids, Serena? Why, do you want to be a dad? Uh, no thanks, I'm good with the one I've got. Just curious how you managed to do so much. I'm not going to discuss my family with you. What do you care? Uh, okay. Uh, anywhere you can buy useful items. Uh, oh, I see. I need, uh, I, I see, I see. I need a forater, like George told me. <laughs> oh, dear George. I'm sorry, George. I'm sorry. In conversation. Goodbye, braided buns, oven baked pies. Yeah, yeah, you, you carry on selling your pastries. Oh, yeah, gotta get to work. Go get to work. Workplace. It's a bit of 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 a hello. Hello, I have with me an analytical report on how to increase theatre attendance. Mm hmm, I am going to put that down as information for culture and sports. Yeah, I oh, won't choose day. Uh, one, seven, eight, we'll do. Just listen, visit, we calculate we can increase attendance by 107%. If we open up performances to kindergartners, Seniors from assisted living facilities and patients from psychiatric wards. <laughs> no, do it. The Ministry of Culture and Sports has already approved it. Now we need just the Ministry of Social Care. Oh, I'll go back. Social Care. Okay, so information, social care. 390. Uh, Ministry of Culture and Sports has already approved it. Good, good. Now we just need the Ministry of Social Care to okay everything. And I hand over the psychos. Great. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It was supposed to have been a request. No, no, come back. Oh, never mind. They'll be back. Hi there. I have a doctor's note saying that I can't work in the mines. My father said he found me a job at the central bank, but this ministry of distribution of yours keeps sending me some summonances. Summonances! You have been summoned! So, request. Distribution, distribution. Where's distribution? It's where I don't know that. It's where I don't know that. It's where I don't know that. Get it? Let's go. It's probably a distribution. It's where I don't know that. It's where I don't know that. They were really, they produced me. Yeah, well, I don't know that. Four, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven. Oh, well, that's information. I'm a fucking dumb, I'm a fucking dumb, I'm a fucking dumb. There we back. Greetings! I was at the Dai Singing Festival and I'd like to report that during the performance the conductor Isaac Weinstein started waving his baton around and using it to write obscenities obscen in the air. <gasps> How dare they? We can't tolerate this kind of behaviour anymore! Okay. Uh, culture and sports, uh, 279. Uh, no! 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 Hi! What do you fire one? Hi! What do you fire one? Now you see how busy! 
Sorry, sir. Sorry for my outburst. How can I help you? Hi, I'd like to report that Professor Kelligan has flagrantly violated the standards for processing classified data. When did this happen? That's classified. And what exactly did he do? That's also classified. And what would you like me to do about that? <laughs> Pass my message on to the Ministry of Order. You can use Directive Number 98720. Okay. It prescribes everything from financial rewards to execution. So it's up to you to decide. Lovely. Right, so I'm assuming it's a request for the order. Uh, 525, that sounds about right. How about that? No! No! Oh, I'm doing so shit today. I need George. <laughs> George. <laughs> George, wait your fucking turn. Next. Hello there. I'm here to hand in completed forms with the latest results of the factory football championships. Information, culture and sports. Four if this isn't right, I will eat my own ass. For everyone who isn't British, that would be ass. Next. <laughs> One of three. Oh, we, we need, we, we need more. Visit. Mm, the whole visit's late. Get on with it. Someone has graffitied the walls of her building. The culprits must be lined up against the same walls and shot. I totally agree. And it's as tasteful or beautiful art, in which case you should be happy. But I'll let you be the judge of that. It's your building after all. Have they besmirched the name of a glorious leader or their res respected uh, military well, victories? Mm -hmm. Worse, they drew the sun and some ducks. Rubber ducks. I blame the parents. You have to do something about this flagrant behavior. Misbehavior, behavior is all the same in that sentence, isn't it really? Okay. Uh, hmm. Ministry of Order, it's got to be Ministry of Order. A seven one, because uh, it, if it's if it's if it's against yes, I was gonna say if it's uh, against the YZ, that he said it wasn't. In which case, well, you are to blame, know? sir. You would be to blame, and uh, not to me. It would be uh, the next. Mm, hello, I'm the manager of a bank called the Mock Leaders. Oh no, 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 this will not do, sir. It simply will not do. You've probably heard of us on the radio. Please grant us a permit to put up free shows in Helma. of the cuts, huh? And culture and spots, huh? Mm. Nine one nine. You get, you get, you take, you leave. Goodbye. I'm gonna go to Mazara, what are you? Hello there. I work as a sealer at the local <laughs> post office. <laughs> a what? An envelope sealer. 
I seal them after the letter's been read by the censor. By licking them, I should say. And some clowns have been adding chili pepper extract to the envelope glue, and now my tongue's is swollen. I can't work like this. Find them and give them a taste of their own peppers. Stating it as a complaint and labor and ooh, 606 looks tasty for you. Print it. Oh, it's good. <laughs> you take that. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, I am here to report that citizen friends and Marisa Javavans get out the help, bro. Mary Zhezkovsky? Mary Zhezkovsky? Mary Zhezkovsky? Mary Zhezkovsky? I probably said it correct, if not, I've horrendously butchered that name. In which case, I am so sorry. Is cheating at the Ministry of Labour. He was assigned to be a radio host, but instead he records his voice at home and then plays the recording while working as a handler at the coal warehouse. Seems to me he's working two jobs. He's helping us in two ways. How could I be wrong? <laughs> Let's be honest. Working in the coal mine is going to lead to the old... <laughs> so it's going to end up losing one job or another. Or both. You know? Uh, I will say... The visitor wants to use his right to receive better than no. Is it reports to justify the of interest at all in the norms of behavior to give a party sooner or less to let you Not an individual. No. Never do it. It's not an individual. It's a copy's name. So, no. Maybe a denunciation on the. The label. Ah. 454. Ah. You will take that. And you will get out of here, sir. You will serve her. Justice. Next. A few days ago, another group of dead soldiers was buried in the city cemetery. As usual, one of the coffins was draped in a flag oh, for a great man, mother. Yeah, but, oh, man. Hmm. Patriot must have been. But they forgot to remove it and buried it like that. I think everyone who allowed the burial of a symbol must be punished severely. Hmm. I'm going to say it's... Play? And for patriotism, if it's not, I will eat my ass. Six four five, six four six. Sounds good. Yeah, is on fire. Is on fire. Nope, I'm just doing a king. Don't want to put my foot in it. Quite a free out of fire. <laughs> Three out of five to quota. Oh, Come on. Two more. I want to report a violation of directive number 6729 from June the 23rd this year. My neighbor, Jacob Proust, and obviously I shouldn't know, is hiding a draft dodger in his home. How dare he? How dare he? Then I say I shouldn't know. Someone who was called to serve on the Western Front. The fact that the man in question is Jacob's son doesn't give him the right to violate directives, does it? I mean, it, it makes it understandable that he would do so, but you are correct, sir. You are correct. Never mm -hmm. violation to any laws, fine, public order violations. Mm -hmm. The fact that the man in question is Jacob's son doesn't give him the right to violate directives, does it? Yeah, I do believe we said bloody uh, bloody blood. You want to get the association? Blah, 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 blah. Yep, yep, yep. Great, great. You take that. Goodbye, sir. You take it. You go. You go. You go. Serve that justice. Draft dodgers are not to be tolerated. 
Hello. Hello, I have a catalogue of clothes designs developed by our tailor shop for employees of the ironworks. There's everything in there from underwear to hard hats. Information for labor. 954, it's so good to you. Lovely, you take that. Have a good day now. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Am I done? Okay. Hi. I need Professor Zadak's home address. We don't give out that kind of information to an unauthorized individual. I'm not unauthorized. I am Professor Zadak. I get a big forgetful sometimes and I can't seem to remember where I live. And how can I help you? Uh, I'd like the Ministry of Social Care to provide me with a note of my address. I'll point at my passport right next to my residence permit and housing information. That way I'll never lose it. Social care. 390. Oh, you wanted a request. No information, but it's information that you requested. So it's your fault. Stefan Oswald, a professor in the coal mining faculty, won't let my kid enroll. Says his grades aren't up to par and ignores the fact that my boy can, can tell soft coal from graphite or anthracite by taste alone. Or ignores the fact, okay. Pretty uh, good, uh, good uh, niche that you yeah. Boy's got that little, uh, a little bit of, uh, how should we say, superpower? Oswald deserves to be punished as harshly as possible. Play. Labor. Four, six, seven. If it's not right. Oh, well. Goodbye. Am I done? Oh, for why? I don't want to deal with you. I want to go home now. Oh, what do you want? Abigail and Morgan Kendall. My neighbors in a communal apartment regularly steal food from the refrigerator. Last night they ate all my soup and didn't even wash the saucepan. I hope you can do something to sort this out. Did you mention their names? Mm, Abigail and Morgan Kendall. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Annunciation. No. Social care. 357. Ah, oh, patriotism. What? Is it? Is it your house? What will we come out for you? Put out the food. Good. I'm done. Goodbye. Can I go hack another terminal? I want to go, I need to go find another terminal. Go hack another terminal. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Raven, Evan. Super hacker, Evan. He's probably going to fail on his first try. Um, come on, there's got to be another terminal. Let's go talk to Magda Rakovic. Get in line and wait, young man. Fine, I'll wait. Sometime later. Magda! Magda! Let's have a word. I've got a bone to pick with you. Not the good time. What do you want? Nabbit! Mm. Nabbit has been executed! You've come here just to tell me why everybody else knows you're the only one i know in the whole ministry all you need to know is who you answer to and where your workplace is he's deaf only makes my job harder hmm. ask about the workload increase why is there such an increase in your workload hamnitz is dead meaning that he can't do his job and therefore must be fired but he's dead 
When an employee is fired, they have to hand over their official stamp and any secret documents they may have. They also have to sign a, se a safety journal and provide a form. Mm. 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 <laughs> Saying that they have no books from the ministry libraries in their possession. But most importantly, he did not hand over his bars. The security service must have his things. Go to the guard at the checkpoint and tell him I sent you. He'll give you Hemnet's things. <laughs> Take this map of the ministry. Without it, you'll be wandering the halls until the end of time. What are you doing here? Uh, nothing, I'm going. Goodbye. Right. So, we've got to grab the letter from the lost and found. I want somebody to go so I can hack a terminal. George, where's your terminal? Where was your terminal, George? We can't go there, no? Okay. Is there anything? No, no, no. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's go. Let's just go grab, grab it all. Bye, Serena. Bye, Nibar. Hello, everybody! Stop complaining! He's already dead. Get on with your day. Never to see you. He's just hanging around. Right, you. Hell. Lost and found. Oh, this is where we keep employees lost and found stuff. Why are you searching this place? Magna Ragnarok sent me. I came to get Hemnet's belongings. There, it takes what's left. Left? Someone already bit me? A colleague? Took some box and left. What colleague? None of my business. Wait, you asked me, but not them. Hmm? 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 Fine. Examine the things. Pass. Letter. Letter is mine. Uh, okay. Very great. Let me see. promised to give me a letter and by a magic safe my father asked him to do this before he died we have got the letter Mars colleagues about the my wait what what the hell is going on today uh, do, do, do you mind if I stand here a little uh, when you sit alone all day you just want to chat with someone go ahead Lost Are you in charge of the lost and found? Yes. And where do the things in the box come from? Do people bring them? Mostly the pathologist. How responsible of him? He has his orders. If someone dies with secret documents, he brings them here. Right. He does. Honestly, I just ask for no reason. I don't care. Oh, wait, 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 I'm touching a vending machine. You can't tell me what to do, Serena. I'm a man. I live my own life. I'm living red green. The PCBM 42 provisions machine welcomes you. Finish checking. 
All hail the leader. Yes. Triplets. Afterwards, I'm gonna rummage for everything. No, okay. Let's just go get the past so stop distracting yourself, please. Stay focused. I brought you Emnet's pass. Give it to me. Now I can finally fire him. It's good that he didn't have any library books. They're very strict about that. Now his promotion allots allotment is open. His promotion allotment. He was meant he was to be transferred to another floor, and now the possession is vacant. Oh. Every year the in here is going to be fighting over it. Now Hemnet's personal file is ready to be transferred to the archive, but... But... But the courier hasn't brought me all the documents I need for the archive. Yet again, he doesn't care. And we're the ones who will be rewarded for losing documents that contain state secrets. Look around in the carts by the workplaces. If you find the documents, bring them to me. Now what? Nothing, I'm going, goodbye. If I have to wait in line again, you will not get them. I'm keeping them. Keeping them. Nothing. God damn it. And nothing left. <laughs> yeah, see, you go chat. You go chat, what? You go chat. Chat, bro. Go chat. <laughs> can we access the stranger? <gasps> we can, but we can't do it right now. God damn it. Fine. Fine. Going home. Let me live. Let me live. Get out of my way. I'm even really brave. No way. Oh, I'm sorry, George. I'm sorry. Ah. Oh. Uh. Leaving. Uh, I'm going home. Bye, Phil. Bye, Jim. Bye, Steve. And down the stairs. And my wife's my child. I'm going home. What is going on here? Hello, Evan. Did you find out anything interesting from Hamnet? Mm. No, I didn't get the chance, James. He was hanged at the meeting today. Just like that. It was just horrible. Everyone started clapping. How could that happen? Car for the chorus, Ian. Punishments are clearly stated in Clause 12. The ministry's job referral. Put in positions and tell elevated levels of responsibility or something like that. It's very suspicious. The 
offended anyone overhearing a conversation. No, he refused to talk in the ministry. We spoke near the statue of the leader. Uh, good, yet clearly useless precaution. There are errors all over the ministry, down to the last brick. I still can't believe it. Did you think your job was going to be able to walk in the park? Be a walk in the park. Walk in the park, Jimmy boy. It's an essence of vipers, Avon. And you must become a goddamn king of vipers if you want to get promoted. To hell with this hypnot. Keep on working. The son of your immediate superior, P. Ferguson. He is a prophetic man who loves only money. You'll see for yourself soon enough. P. knows who you s who whose son you are. <laughs> whose son you are? Uh, everyone does, so he'll be careful. You need to gain his trust if you want to get him to s slip up. Gather some information about him. Squeeze it out of him. Talk to the colleagues. Fulfill a few of his requests. If your conscience allows you to, of course. We need some dirt on that arrogant son of a bitch. But don't forget the Ferguson. It's just a first step, and he's not that important. Your main goal is to rise through the ranks. You're working on the first floor at the moment. You have to make your way up high. So you build up your authority, burn your boss, or get rid of colleagues who pose you any competition. Can we go Vigil kill? Vigilante kill? Okay. And I'll get promotion. It's a standard procedure. You get promoted when you're in enough authority. Use a workflow to find out how much you need. I can't help you much with authority. You have to work. Strengthen the ministry's power and the leader's glory. Get colleagues out of your way or befriend them. Hmm, okay. Goodbye. All of those little things. Right. I'm going to end it here, people. I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, George.